guys welcome back to my channel this is tony fergie i want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers the old ones the new ones the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you're hearing what you're seeing listen y'all i put together a couple of videos for y'all to see what's going on see africa is distracted the young people of africa some wants to leave some wants to stay they don't see a future there what's going on south africa wants to put out everybody it's just a hot old mess but in the meantime, while this distraction is going on, look at what the enemy is plotting. Here we are minding our own business, being distracted by ourselves. But the enemy is busy trying to plot against us. Watch this video, y'all. And please watch it till the very end. And please comment on what you guys think week we are back in Nigeria and before we continue I'd like you to picture something imagine living in a country where you feel completely frustrated by your government's efforts and feel absolutely no way out what do you do well for most Nigerians they decide to japa the Yoruba word for run and so huge is this problem that recently elected president Tinubu asked people in the diaspora in the US to come back home and forget the frustrations of the previous government but is this enough to allow the young people here to remain that's the question we have today and I'm going to begin with Samson now you are one of the people who is saying that look this country is not really working out for me and given the chance I am taking the first flight out of here and never coming back. I heard that they wanted, you know, more of Igbos, more of your but they were trying to like dilly dally and, and that was why I lost it. This man argued with me that I am Igbo. I have a tribe. It is just minor, but I have a tribe. I think our older generations are holding us back. The National Attention Agency is doing a lot. We are the government. But he's saying you're doing nothing. You know, we are dealing with the Shope. Some of the people who criticize Shope are saying he will never go home hungry today. You saw yesterday, Malema. He said, Trope will not go home hungry. I, I, you are on Twitter, don't say you didn't see it. And then, and then, and then, we were not there, me and Nomvula, we're not officials, when Trope was being challenged on his ethical conduct. By political parties. Some of them today are hypocrites who are saying that the ANC is conniving with the DA. When a judge, very good judge, make misjudgments, and uh, does uh, things that are not supposed to be done. We will not have the kind of disorganization and noise which we had yesterday. And I want to say particularly from those of my party to the right at the back, please, I plead with you. If you've been on TikTok for a while, you must have heard about a ton of Africans telling you that Europeans stole Africa's resources. Now, there's a lot to say about that. First and foremost, most of these resources are still in Africa, and they're not being stolen by Europeans. They're actually being sold to Europeans by the African state leadership. Your own elites are robbing you. It's not us doing it. Not anymore. The real issue, of course, is why aren't Africans using their own resources to do things? Why does Mr. Beast have to go to Kenya to build water wells? Why didn't the Kenyan government do it themselves? I suppose the Kenyan government could have done it themselves. They just chose not to do it. Nigeria is now a country of almost 220 million people, the largest country in Africa. But they only produce about 10% of the electricity that a small country like Hungary Hungary only has 10 million people, but they produce 10 times as much electricity as Nigeria does. <clears throat> I mean, I know you want to have your Wakanda, right? But do you expect white people to give it to you? No, you're supposed to build it yourself. Having said all this, it is of course obvious that we Europeans in the North need to prepare for a possible, potential African rise in terms of technology and therefore also in terms of military capacity. And that means we in Europe need to already start looking ahead and thinking ahead about how we are going to win the war against Africa because there will be a future war between Europe and Africa. The trouble with Nigeria, which could as well be the trouble with Africa, he says, the trouble with Nigeria is simply and squarely a problem of leadership. Okay, guys, what did you think? See, here we are minding our good old little business, doing what we got to do, trying to make it, trying to come out of it, trying to be restored or trying to restore ourselves and each other. 
only for the enemy to sit there and plot. Seriously. Anyways, y'all, leave y'all comment and let me know what you guys think. And know that Tony loves and appreciates y'all. If you're not subscribed, why aren't you? Leave a comment though. Let me know what's going on through your brain when you watch these videos. Have a fantabulous day. Know Tony loves and appreciates y'all.